I'm going to Florida. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do in Florida? I am going to be a professional Cinderella at Walt Disney's new theme park. <laughs> uh, you can come if you want, you can be the little spaniel thing, you know that eat spaghetti. I want pancakes. There's a market on the corner for pancakes. Don't wake me in the morning. I like to sleep late. I'll come down when I'm ready. Give me the volume. I don't want your daddy's money. Well, leave it there then. Oh. Just give me the volume. What's this? Let go! No. <laughs> Trying out your new silverware, huh? Oh, shame that oh. go! Let's look really for daddy, huh? Look at your own arm, Master. know that. And here you are in so-called recovery. Fucking cut that neck of a chin your hair. Would you stop it? Help me out here, Daisy. Because I thought you didn't take Valium. Tell me you don't brag that laid across your skin and pray for the strength to press down. Tell me daddy doesn't help you cope with that. Illuminate me. My father loves me. I bet he does. With every inch of his manhood. I'm going to bed now. Please be gone in the morning. You're just jealous, Lisa, because I got released, because I got better, because I got a chance at life. They didn't release you because you were better, Daisy. They just gave up. You call this a life, Daisy? Taking daddy's money? Eating his chicken? Fattening up like a price poker? Everyone knows it. Everyone. Everyone knows he fucks you. What they don't know... SHUT THE FUCK UP! Is that you like him. But hey, that's okay. It's only natural. It happens to all of us. Well, look who it is. The return of the soldier. Hey, take it easy. Relax. Chill out. You're not to watch your ass around here. <laughs> Come on, relax. Sit down. Look, I'm sorry. The party was a little short, but we're just so damn glad happy you're back. So unnatural, you should feel a little funny. I don't feel funny, Cam. You know, you made the fact in a little nervous. He thinks the drawing method would be mine. It did. Things are changed since you've been gone, Derek. You talked about organization? Wait till you see what we've done with the internet. We've got every gang from Seattle to San Diego working together now. They're not competing anymore, they're consolidated. Only thing we lack is a little overall leadership. And that's where you come in. So those people out there, Joe, they got a lot of respect for you. When you're ready, you should come and talk to me about it. You can forget it. I'm done with it, Cam. Yeah, well, I knew you got out of that shaved head bullshit a long time ago, thank God. I like your hair the way it is now. So that's what I mean, dude. They're thinking big enough. No more of this fucking gross You're not listening to me. I am done with it. All that bullshit out there, and all this bullshit here, and all your bullshit here. Two, I'm out. I understand how you feel. I mean, you've just done some hard time. Don't you fucking talk to me about hard time. You don't know a thing about it. Hey, I've done mine. You didn't do shit. I found out about your little prison story. You did two months, and then you rolled over on two kids and let them go down for you. So don't feed me, you fucking lies, Cameron. Alright, this is stupid. Come out. You go cool off, get laid, do something. Get your head off straight and I'll come talk to you. <laughs> hey, but it doesn't matter. It did... Hey, but it doesn't even matter if I don't, does it? Because you've got the next crowd all lined up and ready to go. You fucking chicken hot. Excuse me? You prey on people, Cameron. You use them. 
I lost three years of my life for your fucking phony cause. But I'm onto you now. You fucking snake. Hey, Derek, watch it. Be careful. Remember where you are. This is some fucking country club. We just waltz in and out of there whenever you choose. Hey, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I came in here to tell you one thing. I'm out. Out! And Danny is out too. So if you come near my fucking family again, I will fucking kill you, Cameron. Well, excuse me, Derek, but fuck up. Well, excuse me, Derek, but fuck you. You can't go barking thirds at me. Look, you can do whatever you want, but Danny is a good kid. He's not some whiny pussy like you. He needs my help, and I'm gonna give it to him. If you come near Danny again, I'll feed you your fucking heart, Cameron. I won't have to. He'll come to me. I'm more important to him now than you ever were. Fucking dead man. Shit. Are you kidding me? I told her about Paris, Lillian. I told her about the whole idea. Annie, calm down. What the fuck? What are you going to do in, with her in Paris and you're going to ride around on bikes, fucking baguettes in your baskets? Oh, how romantic, ooh la la. Have you lost your fucking mind? What the hell are you thinking? What am I doing? What are you doing? Where have you been, Lillian? Ever since you got engaged, everything's turned to shit for me. No, you know what? I don't even think you want to be friends with me. I reckon you just want a little pity party. Seriously? Seriously, you think I want a little pity party? A little pity party! You're an asshole, Lillian. You're an asshole! You're the asshole! Say your story! No! Say it! What the fuck, Lillian? <laughs> I've been calling you for weeks now. What is Helen screaming your calls? No, and you know what? You have ruined every single event at my wedding. Thank you very much. Not my team. You know what? Thank you very much. It's not my fault, it's hers. So why don't you get your perfect fucking weave out of, out of your arsehole? Or I correct myself, out of Helen's arsehole, which I'm sure is perfectly fucking bleached. No, you know what? It is bleached, and do you want to know how I know? Because I went to the fucking salon with her and I got my arsehole bleached too. Ooh! I love my new arsehole. So why don't you just go home and then talk about me behind my back? Like a normal person. Why would you bleach your arsehole? Why the fuck would you do that? No champagne for you. <coughs> They're all the same, Marie. What? No. No, not Michael. Isn't he just a perfect man? The perfect saint of a man? He was no saint. He was not. I never said he was a saint. Not much perfect about him. Oh, oh my God. We cared for each other. We were honest with each other. Honest? <laughs> we were. He was a good man. Good. He's a lying one like the rest of them. Well, I think we should go home, Cassie. So we told you about it, did he? All the times we had a fall of you to your face. Just go now. All of the times he was falling around with those other girls. Oh, my God, Cassie. Making a fool of you with all of these women. Right, okay, I heard the stories. Of course I heard them. Did you, though? He was a great-looking man. He was away a lot. There were bound to be stories. There were books of them, Marie. <sighs> but if there'd been any truth in them, Michael would have told me him himself. Oh, Marie. But, okay, that's trust, Cassie. That's stupidity, Marie. You're, you don't have the sense of a hen with its head off. Right. You were no more lying to me than you were, Cassie. That's what I'm telling you, Marie. We're both lying to you for years. What, what are you talking about? Jesus. He started it, but I followed through. We would just sit in his car, you know, just not do anything. But just sit and talk. But he was a window, a breath of fresh, fresh air. Just a bit of excitement. What? So there you are. There's the truth. Now you can tear the face off of me. I'm going to make some tea. No, you're not. Get out of my fucking house. What do you expect? He'd be crazy to tell you about it. Crazy? You would not be crazy. What do you expect? You're nothing 
but a piece of crap. Hole isn't big enough for you, Cassie. <laughs> ah, there you are. I want to work with you. I've taken all I can take from you. You're the worst excuse for a human being I've ever run across. Now, Jess, let's be adult about this. We're actors, not adults. If you haven't learned that yet, you have no business being in the theatre. Just what does that mean? On second thought, keep your mouth shut. I don't like what comes out. Oh, I can forgive your ill manners and your ill temper. I can even forget, forgive your vicious sense of humour. But what I can't forgive is your unprofessionalism. Your behaviour last night on the stage was nothing but atrocious. And what was that, may I ask? Unless you're referring to my damn fine performance, in which case I stand justly accused. Oh my god, how ironic. How was I unprofessional? You know damn well, from the moment you strutted down those stairs, you pulled out every stop. You snorted and bellowed like a wounded moose. Like hell I know, I was rushing. Rushing? You were charging. The rest of us could barely keep up. Well, I don't appreciate being upstaged either. You did it again last night. What? You know when. I haven't the funniest. The supper scene? Oh, is that why you looked upset? I thought you had the name. And while we're at it, don't cross your legs on stage last night. You, you were sat on the sofa working your legs like a pair of scissors. I was simply working up a piece. Do you not notice how stifling it is out there? The first three rows don't have to know what you're wearing. Black lace panties. I bet you were the only one that noticed. Did you also notice the bruise on my left thigh? No, I didn't, and it was your right thigh. God knows I got that. Listen, you, I was doing leading ladies when you were failing to get through adolescence. adolescence. So don't tell me how to act. I forgot. You worked with Mike Nicholas. Let's all curtsy. <sighs> At least I've got the guts to work outside this country. The truth is, your last two... Broadway plays died in the first week. You haven't acted in the theatre for two week, for two years. You're working in the past, lady. All you can do is act in a play you believe in. Yes, but how does it feel to get clobbered? I won't know. You were in two flops. The plays were. I wasn't. Look, it was the opening night. We were all nervous. Maybe I was bigger than usual. A touch? Bigger? Must you repeat every word I say? <sighs> the word is shrill. Shrill as in frightened silly. Shrill as in boy soprano. And in half those scenes, I'm supposed to top you. If we're both shrill, then how come you only get slated? Because I am the star, darling. I am the star of this bloody show, and don't you forget it. What's that supposed to mean? Not now, darling. I know a good exit when I hear it. What are you doing in my room? Hello? What were you doing? Why, why are you on my console? I told, I told Mum that you're not allowed to come and you've been in here. Well, I do. I've been at school all blooming day. You've been faking it. I knew since we woke up. <coughs> I'm actually really ill. Yeah, great yeah. acting. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Oscar for you. Right, come on. Mm -hmm. I am going to Mum! Oh my god, don't tell Mum. She's in my room! Oh, she won't go out and she's faking it! Mum, it's fine. I'm getting out. Get out! Ow! Ow! Look, we took you long enough. 